Mr. Turner is a motivational speaker for many numerous events, many occasions, and I just want you guys to give him five minutes because we're not going to the panel room. We're going to adapt and do it right here. Mr. Turner, the floor is yours. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay. My name is Clarence Turner, and uh, I'm so happy to be here and uh, to be with ICC Con number two. And it's uh, <laughs> I, a lot of you I remember from the from the first one that I attended, and uh, I, I, a little bit nervous, but it's just obvious because you know whenever you're speaking in front of people until the ice breaks. But the bottom line is, <laughs> as Les Brown would say, life has no limitations, no limitations except the ones that we make. Right. And it's not, life is not over until you win, right. and it's all about winning. It, it's all about putting all of you into your dreams, into your vision, into what you want to become. You can believe if you can believe it, then it, you can make it happen. There's no excuse. We have we have no excuses uh, in this day and era. Matter of fact, we just don't have time to waste time. Uh, life is, again, life is not over until we win. Les Brown always said, greatness is all, already inside you. Opportunity is all, already inside you. Creativity and the passion is already inside you. So what are you waiting for? What excuses do we have? Nowadays I have to write things down because of a disability I have. But I had learned, especially when I was in the military, to, to uh, adapt improvise and overcome so whatever that obstacle might be i've learned to push it away go around a mountain get out of my way if i had to go through you around you or uh, over you it's just a, it's just an, uh, an obstacle it's something that a roadblock has come along and tried to prevent you from being the best you that you can be and i said no no, I have the victory over whatever obstacle want, that wants to stand itself in front of me. And I'm telling you today that there's nothing that you cannot accomplish if you desire to accomplish it. Who's going to stop you? The only one that can stop you is you. Samuel Smiles once said uh, on the seven habits of highly effective people, so a thought, reap an action. Sow an action, reap a habit. Sow a habit, reap a character. Sow a character, reap a destiny. What is your destiny? That's what you have to ask yourself. What is my destiny? What is my ultimate goal? How far do I want to go? Am I limited? I'm only limited by, my, by, by why the stance that I put in place, the obstacle that I put in place of me, because you're going to always have people, the naysayers, the haters, those who say, no, you can't do it. and make it plain. The writing's on the wall. And what I read, what I, and what it's saying, the way that I see it is, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. You don't let other people steal your dreams. Those are your dreams. That's the vision that was put in you long before you were born. You were created from greatness, and it stands to reason that greatness is already inside you. So just by having that thought, said, okay, I already have and you can't take it from me. It's mine and it's mine alone. But the vision was given to you. So we, I might weep at night, but I know that morning, when morning comes, that's when joy comes. I said when morning comes, that's when joy comes. I'm not a loser, I'm a winner. If what you have created matters, nothing should hinder your journey and the purpose of your destiny. You were born a winner. You weren't born and say, okay, loser, you're a winner. 
<laughs> you how it doesn't matter where you start from, it's how you end. Without a vision, the people perish. Without a vision, the world will never know your creative ability. If whatever you were given, the gift that you was given, if you go to sleep on it, the world will never know. You don't know because you were born that somebody's waiting for you to stand up and stand out. That's by virtue of your birth. So your birth is important. That's why you were born. Some people can't take that from you. I don't care how depressed or oppressed you may have been in your life, but it's here and it's right now. Be accountable to yourself. Have someone that you can be accountable to. But don't go to sleep on your dreams. Don't go to sleep on them. Wake up. Bring them. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Dr. Miles Monroe once said, life itself began with a vision. A vision. So that means that if life itself began with a vision, then what is the vision you have for everybody else around you? Not just for yourself, but for your family, your loved one, your friend, your community, and let's, let's be honest, the world. What is your vision? If your vision is, is, is so small that you can't seem to move forward, then maybe it's not big enough. A man and his little daughter went on a ship one day. And the little girl was small, so she couldn't see over the, the balcony. So the little girl said, Dad, can you pick me up? He said, come on. He picked her up and so that she could see the ocean. And, she, and he said, OK, what do you see? I see so much that my eyes cannot comprehend it all. Your vision must be so big that it's like, wow, what is it? It is so big that I just can't comprehend it all. So now, to the dreamer, please, wake up, wake up. The world is waiting on you to produce. You are a producer. This room is filled with visionaries. Just as I look around the room right now, this is just not something that just all of a sudden poof, and there it was. This came from visionaries, people that looked beyond their thoughts and saw something much greater than themselves. And you have to see the world. It's not about just you, but it's about the whole world. How do we impact the whole world? If you see, if you can envision it, if you can believe it, then it can happen. The vision was given to you and to you alone. Rise up, make it happen, make it plain, do the work. Your vision determines your destiny. Capture the vision for your life. And in closing, I leave you with this: There's an appointed time when the invisible becomes the visible. Learn to encourage yourself along the journey towards your destiny. The only limitation, and I say that again, the only limitations that you face in this life is the one that you place on yourself. So write the vision and make it plain. Thank you, Mr. Baker. We want to thank Mr. Charter for that speech.